I didn't really think I'd ever have to talk about this, but let's go ahead and do that. There was an article published by Renaud Lavoie. It was within the past 24 hours, and it's about Jesperi Kotkaniemi. Now, before you click like, dislike, or you comment your angry rage at this idea, which I can totally understand if that exists, let's actually go over the article and go over what Lavoie has to say. This is the article that he published recently. This is for the Canadiens, Kotkaniemi en mode survive. Le sport professionnel ne pardon pas. L'an dernier, Jesperi Kotkaniemi a puisé à la porte un joueur de centre qui avait donné tout sa carrière aux Canadiens, mais qui était en fin de parcours. Je parle évidemment de Thomas Placanix. So basically, this is talking about how Jesperi Kotkaniemi, last year in training camp, was really darn good. And he was so good that he was able to take over the final roster spot and knock out a center who was already at the end of his career in Thomas Placanix. And this is something that I think most people will remember. Kotkaniemi had an extremely strong training camp. And even though he was taken third overall, he was supposed to be a guy probably taken towards the end of the top 10. So people had this idea that he wasn't necessarily ready, he could use more time in Finland, whatever, and... He proved everyone wrong. He belonged on the team last year, and he was really good. People were saying that he probably needed Laval time to really mature into an NHL player, but he proved everybody wrong, and he was like, no, I'm good enough to play in the league now. And he was so good, in fact, that he knocked longtime Canadian center Thomas Placanix out of that spot. We all remember what happened to Placanix after, and the rest is history, but now, Lavoie talks about Kotkaniemi and this preseason. Cette année, Kotkaniemi n'a pas du tout le même camp de traînement. À un point tel qu'il est en mode survive, à l'heure où on se parle. La réalité, c'est qu'il a été dépassé par Ryan Paling. Mais on pouvait s'y entendre pour toutes sortes de raisons. Dont la maturité physique et le fait que le joueur américain est plus vieux de 18 months. So basically, it's talking about how this year, Ryan Paling is the guy to do that to Code Kanyemi. Code Kanyemi is not necessarily the same super hot player that he was last year, and now Code Kanyemi's spot is in jeopardy of being taken over by Ryan Paling, who is injured right now. So let's translate the article back into English. I'm having a little bit of a tough time going through this one in French because I don't naturally speak French, but... Let's just go over it right here. Pretty much, this article goes over Ryan Paling and how he's been really, really good. And it also goes over Nick Suzuki and how Suzuki was used in the defensive zone and he's been really good too. And then it goes over into this little thing here. Laval or Montreal? Let's read this entire thing here. It's in English. I use the Google Translate machine. Laval or Montreal? Mark Bergevin mentioned it in his press briefing on Thursday. It's necessary that his team is the best possible from the beginning of the season. One can claim patience in the case of Kotkaniemi, but the NHL is not a league of development. It's a league of results. But we must not forget one thing. Kotkaniemi is 19 years old. It's true that he played 79 games last season, but he was not an impact player, especially after Christmas. So what should the organization do to make sure he progresses to become a dominant center player in all three zones? The question is not trivial. If the development of players under Joel Bouchard had not gone well in Laval last season, it's a safe bet that Bergevin would have made it clear today that the Finnish player would start the season in Montreal. But since Kotkaniemi seems to need more time to regain confidence in his means, what do the Canadians really have to gain by limiting his ice time in Montreal or by leaving it aside more often than not? Laval is not a prison where you cannot go out. One way or another, even if he starts the season in Montreal, a stay in the AHL will be necessary eventually if things don't progress. So why not now? That is the perspective that Renault Lavois is trying to bring up here. Jesperi Kokanyemi, why not start him in Laval? Now, this is a weird thing. I don't agree with it. 
We've gotten four minutes into the video. My goodness, it's already been too long. And I didn't give my opinion on it yet. Yeah, I don't want him to start in Laval. But let's go over the reasons as to why somebody would want him to do that. First off, yeah, Kokonyemi's preseason hasn't been great. I will say that he looked better as the games went on, but Coach Kanyemi in general was not necessarily the most impactful player out there on the ice during this preseason for the Habs. It is true, yes, Suzuki and Paling did look much better than Coach Kanyemi. I will agree with that. But at the same time, actually, you know what? Let's not do the but at the same time. Let's leave it at that right now. I'll play the devil's advocate a little bit later. So, the perspective here is that Kokonyemi was not all that great, in fact, he hasn't been all that great since Christmas, and him as a player is somebody who probably could use some good development time in the AHL to really establish himself as a true pro hockey league player in North America. That's the perspective. However, there's a lot to dubuke that. First off, who cares if Kokonyemi was not as good as Paling or Suzuki because Coke Kanyemi was not playing with the same guys who could allow him to play up to that standard. Coke Kanyemi playing with Armia and Huda and all these guys who didn't really do all too well means that Coke Kanyemi's not going to do well either. At the same time, the guys gained weight. The guy's got muscle on him now and he's a player who's adapting to his body. He was lighter last year and he was still pretty okay. So, Coach Inyemi coming in now as a heavier guy needs those preseason games to truly adjust and to truly find his pace with the new body he has. Would that be better spent in the AHL, in Laval, where you're supposed to develop, rather in the NHL, where you're supposed to already be fit and good? Maybe. But Coach Inyemi in itself is a player that's able to play in the NHL. Not to mention he's 19. Coach Inyemi is a player who spent his entire life playing a two-way game that revolves around simplicity. He can't do the same flashy things that Paling or Suzuki can. He can't do the nice little toe drag into a centering pass like Paling can, nor can he set the play up and calm the game down like Suzuki, but Coach Inyemi displays an efficiency and a simplicity that allows his game to prosper, and it's why he was drafted third overall. It's why he was able to play with the Habs last season, and it's why he held a spot for 79 games last year. Coach Kanyemi playing with Houdon and Armia is not going to be able to get that same production, and he's not going to look as great because Houdon can't finish his chances. Sure, the guy's trying really hard, but can we really say that Coach Kanyemi playing with Houdon is the best thing for Coach Kanyemi? No, we can't. You know who would absolutely make Coach Kanyemi thrive? A guy like Cole Caulfield. A guy like Nick Suzuki. Have these guys playing with Coke Kanyemi, and all of a sudden, Coke Kanyemi's simplistic game allows these other players to prosper, and in turn, it makes him look great too. Coke Kanyemi doesn't need Laval time. Coke Kanyemi doesn't need to develop his body in the AHL. He just needs these few and free of charge preseason games in the NHL to really adjust, and that's what he's been doing. I will say he has gotten better as the preseason went on. Some of his passes and some of his playmaking abilities have started to show through the cracks a little bit throughout the last few games, and I've been really excited seeing him on the puck. Should we be worried that Kotkaniemi wasn't producing and he didn't look all too great throughout the preseason in its entirety? Maybe. But I don't think sending him to Laval is going to solve the problem here. I'd be lying if I said Kotkaniemi would need Laval time at all in his career. Maybe at the beginning there was some doubt, but he proved everyone wrong when he fought off Placanics for that last spot in center. So now, Kote Kinyemi is a player who is only 19, and he's still got some room to grow throughout the next few weeks, let alone the next few years. So, this idea of sending him to Laval from Renault Lavoie, I don't really agree with it. I would rather see him in the NHL. And in fact, there was a reply here to Lavoie's article on Twitter from Mike Kelly, survival mode indeed. If Coach Kanyemi slips on Saturday, he may not finish the preseason as the team leader in zone exits and entries, which he currently is. So there you go. He's already one of the best Habs in this category. He's one of the best younger Habs we've had in a while. And as a Finnish phenom who can play make, do some good plays, playing with Houdon is not going to be the best for him. It's really not. And I don't think his poor performance in the preseason is enough to warrant sending him to Laval. 
That's my opinion. Hope you enjoyed this video, Social Dash 1299. And bye.